you know, I really wish I could do more for you guys. I wish I could be a little more creative within my content, but I can't because of the circumstances that I am in at the moment. But, um, you know, even if I wanted to, it would be too much work. And please try to understand that there's a difference between a lot of work and too much work. One's excessive and one isn't. But regardless of that, I have something to discuss, and that is Spiral the Dragon. I got five things written in this uh, this notebook of mine. And number one, I'm going to just get that out of the way, Skylanders. Um, regardless of what you think about Skylanders, you have to understand that Spiral the Dragon is in it. You know, you don't have to like the design. That's fine. It's just your opinion, but it doesn't solidify, you know, the reality. Spiral the Dragon is not dead. The series was never dead. The Skylanders is, is successful. I believe that saying that you want Spyro the Dragon to come back is extremely conflicting. And when you want Spyro to come back, but you're shitting on another incarnation of Spyro the Dragon, aka the Skylanders one, it's disrespectful to the people that you want to bring him back, but you still want him to... It, it just doesn't make sense, is what I'm trying to say. So... Spyro going back to his former glory, which I actually did a video talking about that a while back, three years ago. But yeah, Spyro the Dragon going back to his former glory really wouldn't do anything but just satisfy the fans. And true, it can get new fans to familiarize themselves within the, you know, what made Spyro special to begin with. You can't really get rid of that, I understand that, but if it's doing nothing but satisfying the fans, then what is it doing for the series if Skylanders is already successful? That's when things start to get confusing and stuff just kind of leads up to a dead end. And then the situation could just be straight up identified or summarized as nothing but nostalgia. That's it. Personally, I would want to see either a new game that plays like the originals but has its own twist to it or have the first Spiral of the Dragon remastered and that's it. Don't need to touch the other two. Fact of the matter is when it comes to Skylanders, Spiral of the Dragon was always active. Spiral of the Dragon was always successful and Skylanders is a lot more successful than the original Spiral game. So, you know, facts will be facts. Consistency will be consistency. So, there's that. Number two, the Medieval Uproar. Now, we all know Medieval got revealed for uh, PS4. Um, it's going to get remade from the ground up. You know, that announcement occurred at PSX 2017, and a lot of people, uh, aka the Spiral community, or a good portion of the Spiral community at least, were extremely upset because of that. And the thing that kind of bothers me with that uproar is the fact that they know that Sean Layden sees their tweets and stuff. They know that Sean Layden sees what they want. So if you're doing that, you're just making things worse and putting Spyro the Dragon at risk if you really want it. So being immature about it is not really going to do anything but just make you look kind of immature. Very immature, in fact. Also, with, with the medieval thing, I believe Voice Legend and Robokai has something to do with that. They uh, had a part in the Resurrect Fortescue thing, so shout out to y'all for that. That's awesome that you got people together to... Um, you know, bring medieval back and stuff, so that's great. The third thing I want to discuss is the developer and the gameplay. Now, when it comes to this whole thing, y'all see with with Spyro, this whole Spyro thing, it's a lot more easier. Y'all have y'all have a lot more to go off of now with the Insane Trilogy because without the Insane Trilogy, people wouldn't have really wanted Spyro, uh, you know, to get a trilogy remaster like Crash or whatever. So. With the reaction and what people's impressions on the Insane Trilogy in comparison to the original PlayStation 1 games, well, now you have to sit back and think. The same thing can happen with Spyro the Dragon. It can't be as, you know, good as the originals because you can't beat the classics, as they all say. You know, you can't beat the uh, classics. So, when it comes to the Spyro Trilogy, if they even, you know, if they make one, um, it's going to be different it's going to be different it won't be exactly like the original games on playstation 1 so if they're not the same like i said for crash can't really get mad at that and whether who's going to make it i i, I don't know who's going to make it uh I, I would say toys for bob or insomniac because insomniac doesn't 
uh, work for Sony. They're independent, I believe. So it's still possible for them if they still have the same level geometry and all that. But with the licensing and all that, it just gets real technical and confusing because Activision owns Spyro, but Sony distributed the PS1 games. and like It's just too much to go into. Um, but yeah, gameplay-wise, it's not going to play just like the original Spyro games, just like how the Crash Insane Trilogy didn't play exactly like the um, original PlayStation 1 Crash games and stuff. And, you know, overall, it's just going to get it's gonna get pandered or something, most likely. Um, and also, another thing, too, I don't think a lot of people should go into this wanting it just because of how it will look. Because I think with all these remasters coming out and stuff... I feel like people are really losing their focus and now they're trapping themselves in the mindset of caring about only how the game looks rather than how it plays. The Insane Trilogy accomplished what it was marketed as, which was, you know, it was in high definition. It was the three games remade from the ground up and, you know, it just looks prettier. It still plays well, it plays nice, you know, controls aren't terrible or anything, but it's just, it's not going to play like the originals. It doesn't have that same feeling. So... When the, if Spyro does get a HD trilogy or whatever, it's not going to play as good as the original, the soundtrack. Now, Stuart Copeland, I believe he's still around. They could definitely get him with, they could definitely get him to do it, but it might be another one of those situations like it was with John uh, Josh Mansell when he couldn't make the soundtrack for the Insane Trilogy. So there might be different instruments and melodies and all the other stuff music related within the Spyro soundtrack. So you can't really expect Stuart Copeland to be 100% all up for it. I'm sure he would be, but what I'm trying to say is don't be surprised if the soundtrack is not going to be composed by Stuart Copeland and it will be by somebody else. 2018, I feel like the Spyro the Dragon remaster or the Spyro the Dragon trilogy remaster will get announced and then they'll come out in 2019 because for 2016, that was Crash's 20th anniversary. It got announced in 2016 when he came back and then, you know, Insane Trilogy came out in 2017. So I feel like the same thing will happen for Spyro. Also, there's new merchandise for Spyro. There's a shirt actually by, I forgot what it was i'm not going to try to attempt it and then sound all wrong but this company is actually affiliated uh with activision or they more so have licensed products this isn't a bootleg uh they're also like collab they've also collaborated collaborated with hot topic and hot topic collaborated with activision for the you know the crash tees and stuff so pretty much this is a licensed shirt from uh, Activision and they were getting sold around PSX I think so that's pretty cool as well but yeah I don't want no more remasters after this man I don't I really don't because now it's just looking like a trend and it seems like a kind of a cheap way to continue a series honestly to me at least you know in a sense it's just kind of annoying now <sighs> and with how people are acting on social media about this whole thing um, I don't really know what to say at this point, so, yeah, I'm in this video off, uh, I, I'm not really the most excited person when it comes to this whole thing, because I've tried to record this video at least 10 to 15 times, and just discussing this topic alone is pretty complicated and a little irritating because of just how excessive it is in, in some, some aspects, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see y'all later, thanks for watching, and y'all have yourselves a good one, peace.